Hello ladies, this is part two of the Vanilla Wardrobe Detox. Hopefully you've completed part one um, and that you have boxes that might have labels like this. So you've got your love it and wear it box. A little box of things that during this lockdown you're going to repair. The I never wear it box which is going to stay sealed and you're going to bring that to vanilla when we open up again because it's going to go to a really good charity called Leeway. And those few items that are still sitting in your wardrobe that are saying style me because you don't want to part with them but you just don't really know how to wear them. So what are we going to do today? <clears throat> so I have already been through that process and you are going to take a peek into my wardrobe. Now this is not the wardrobe of my dreams because we've only been in this house for a short while and we're waiting to remodel it. So believe me, these wardrobes are, are not, you know, they're not the love of my life. However, I'm going to allow you to have a little sneaky peek inside. And what we're going to look at today is how to organise your wardrobe to make it easy for you to select your looks every single morning or every single day. So wardrobe number one, I don't know Mr V if you can see closely enough from there. We'll have a look, let's open the door. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I can get closer, yeah, that's better. Okay, so what we're going to look at is um, how to make it more organised so that you can actually see every single thing that you've got. Louise did this for me probably about, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago now. And I've kept to that process the whole time and I just find it so much easier to find what I want to wear. So first of all, always separate your winter and your summer clothes. I actually have three separate places for my clothes so my we're in transition now where we're just starting to go into the summer weather so what i will do is take the more wintry pieces out of this wardrobe and put them away for the winter and replace them with my summer things so that's the first thing you must do is separate your winter and summer we're going into summer, so as soon as you feel that chill has gone from the air, take all your wintry things out, put them away separately in the loft, under the bed, whatever um, whatever kind of place you can find to put them, but get them out of your wardrobe. It'll make it so much easier for you. So we're coming up to that period for me. So for me, shortly, all of my sweats, the heavier sweats, will come out of my wardrobe because I'm not going to wear those in the summer. That will give me a lot more space. The other thing that I'll do is take my wintry trousers out, fold them up, put them away, put them under the, spare, under the bed in the spare room so that all my wintry things are out of the wardrobe. I haven't quite done that yet because we're still in transition, but that will be what I will do. So the first thing to do is separate your winter and summer. The next thing that I like to do is put my clothes into the different sections of my lifestyle. So let's go into this wardrobe. If you can still see me, Mr. B. Mm -hmm. Those lovely curtains I inherited. Um, so <clears throat> here in this section is all of my sports gear. Now, some people might like to fold it all up and put it in a drawer. I have got a folded section, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but my kind of sweatshirts, my sports jackets, my little waterproofs, my running jacket, I like to keep them all hung because I know exactly where they are and I can just get to them. Even my tennis dress is hung so that I just I can just put my hand on it straight away. Another tip is to, it's always lovely to have wooden hangers, but believe me, ladies, they take up a lot of room. So getting yourself a really slim hanger, we're lucky because um, we get quite a lot of these coming through at work. And if ever we've got any that you would like, then just holler because, you know, we like to give them away. So that's my workout section. 
Then I've got <clears throat> my semi-summer, semi-holiday section. So a lot of these things I will only wear on holiday and they again are all in one section. So that's my holiday outfit. They have just come out from under the bed because Mr V and I went away. So that's why they're hung because we're hoping one day we'll go away again. At the bottom here, Mr V, are all my shorts, bikinis, um, beach cover-ups. I'm not going to be, I don't want to be rifling through those every day in the wardrobe. So they're tucked away at the bottom and then I can access them when we go away or if it suddenly gets really hot, which is going to next week. I've then got my cardies, of which I only have three. These are my three faves. Two are from Postcard from Brighton and that one, Saint-Tropez. Um, this is a new buy in stock and these I must have had... At least three, maybe four years. No, five, six. No. Yeah. And then what I like to do is put all my jackets together. So the two at the end here high fashion pieces can you see you might have do you want to stand yeah, up yeah, there we go okay um i absolutely love those really 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 love them which is why they're not leaving my wardrobe have i worn them in the last two seasons no but i love them so much that they're not going anywhere um my absolute fave leather always have a leather in your wardrobe it's just go-to piece every single time. So that's what I would call your investment piece. And if you notice, all my jackets are actually on wooden hangers. Now, the reason for that is you need more form in the shoulder when you're hanging a, a higher quality item or um, a heavier item. Yeah, heavy, thank you. <laughs> a heavier item. So, so do use your better hangers. They don't necessarily have to be wood, but they need to be more substantial. Otherwise, you'll get your jacket out if you haven't worn it for a while and the, the shoulders will be all slumpy and, and horrible. So all my jackets, including my little tiny puffers, they're all in one section too. I hope this is kind of making sense. So we can close the doors on those and look again at this wardrobe. So this is the wardrobe that I'm going to most of the time. And if this is um, where you're coming to every single day, because obviously I'm not going to be going into that wardrobe every day. That's my sport summer jackets wardrobe. Whereas this is my get dressed every day wardrobe. So in here, what I would recommend, some people recommend that you put things in colour. I don't find that easy to use. I actually think that I find it more practical to put things in styles. So if we take this from, let's go from this end. So here I've got, well, obviously all my longer pieces because they can drape on the end of that chest of drawers. Um, but these are my dresses and jumpsuits. So they, in fact, a sneaky little pair there that need to go in the end. So dresses and jumpsuits there. I've then got my indoor leisure wear. So that's when I come home from work, take off my work clothes, want to put some of my leisure wear on. So very similar to what I'm wearing today. I mean, a postcard from Brighton, thank you, Lainey, is just the best for leisure wear because it makes you feel great, it washes really well, um, and it's not sports wear, it is home wear, leisure wear. So all of my leisure wear pieces are together. So that's my little tees for wearing at home, my um, jogging pants, my disco pants, um, and my just soft little jersey tops like I've got on. So that's my leisure wear, home wear section. Then I would recommend you put all your trousers together because 
that's how you'll start to pick out your like outfit build on the day when you're getting dressed. Some people do it the night before, which I think is bloody amazing. Um, I'm never, I never know what mood I'm going to wake up in the next day. So I like to look at my wardrobe and choose according to where I'm going and what mood I'm in. So this would be your trouser section, all the trousers that you have in your wardrobe, put them together. I also like to put all my denim together. Now, some people, again, use the Marie Kondo method and roll their denim up and put it in a drawer. I think that's what Lou does. Lou has a lot of denim, so maybe all her denim would take up her whole wardrobe. I don't wear as much denim as Lou. In fact, if we count one, two, three, four, I've got five pairs of jeans. <clears throat> and I like to be able to put my eyes on all of them, which is why I hang them and I hang them all together. There's two pairs of skinnies and a mom jean and a, a wide leg jean, as you can see there. So they're all different shapes for different, different feeling. I'm sad to say at the moment, after my chuck out that I did, uh, I've only got one skirt. It happens to be my fave, um, but that's one thing that I want to improve on, on my wardrobe going into the spring, is get some more skirts. And then, and these will come out fairly shortly, apart from this one, which is new stock, which is the Femme, which actually might style up really nicely with that um so that's new stock in the shop but next in the wardrobe i've got all my heavier sweats now personally these little sweatshirts are too heavy for me to wear indoors i prefer this very light jersey which is all part of my leisure wear um so soon these will be too hot for the weather and they will go in the spare room under the bed so that will give me a lot of space to then bring in more spring things, um, especially all the lovely stock that we've got at work. A couple of little black um, jumpers. Our rib sleeve knit from work. Everyone needs one of these in the wardrobe. It's the most amazing fit and just goes with so many other things in your wardrobe. And we've got it in incredible colours. So just make sure when we open that you get yourself one of those. Then I've got all my teas. And again, you could, my sister took, because I did this with my sister's wardrobe. She took out all of her t-shirts and put them on the bed, which I hope is what you were doing um, before we got to this stage. She had about 26 grey t-shirts, all the same shape, just taking up space in her bedroom and you just you just don't need that many you can see that I'm a t-shirt girl so I've got my basic tees just basic colors and then moving on to the logo tees so I've got four or five logo tees as well again to style up with my skirts well skirts I say skirts I will, I will get more skirts <laughs> I wonder if you're all surprised at how little a little amount of clothes I've got. Um, then I've got my soft knits. Now I again prefer to hang these soft knits because if I put them in a drawer or put them in a wardrobe um, in the cupboard I find that they just I get them out and they're too creased and I don't want to wear them. So they do hang quite well believe it or not. Um, if they're nice quality which these are they hang really well and these will probably, again, because we're in transition, they will come out of the wardrobe and go under the bed in the spare room fairly soon. And then at the other end, I've got <clears throat> tops. So a couple of tops that I would go out in. And then I've got my shirting. So I've got the, the big oversized shirt that I wear all the time with jeans. And... At the very end, something that we talked about in the first video, I think, I've got three pieces that I still need to work on how to style. And this, hopefully, once you start to get onto this bit with your wardrobe and start to get it all organised, start to get it all hung up, 
you will find those bits that we talked about with your box which are your style me pieces so they're the pieces that you don't want to give away you still want to wear but you don't really know how to wear them so that's my green shirt I'm going I'm going to think about how I want to style that and that's maybe another video if you keep commenting on our page tell us what you want us to put out there and we'll do all the style tips um, love this shirt but I only wear it one way which is over those pinstripe pants so I want that to be more versatile I want to be able to wear that many more ways and then new addition to my wardrobe which I love because of its shape and the softness of the fabric but it's quite as you can see from my wardrobe this is quite out there for me um, I tend to be sort of quite classic and quite plain um, but I think this lockdown has made everyone think about colour so I'm going to think about how I can style that it might mean that um, I need some other fresh pieces from the shop when we open up and when we get out there in the big wide world again so they those three pieces are right at the end of my wardrobe in the come on style me section so ladies that's quite simple isn't it that's quite i would say easy to do if you've done the pre-video so you've done all the sorting out then this is the organizing part now I do have a drawer that I have completely Marie Kondoed. Now, Mr V, I think you're going to have to stand up and come and have a look at this. This is my tennis and workout drawer. And I've done this in the Marie Kondo way uh, because a friend of mine kept running on about it. And I thought, do you know what, I'll give it a go. And believe me, it works. So I've got all my workout leggings here because I don't really want to hang those. None of this um, gets creased or anything, does it? And then all my workout T-shirts. And what she says is, I'll do it on the bed so you can see. But you have to watch her on Netflix. She's amazing. So what she says is you fold, you fold, and you fold again, and you make this lovely little sausage. <laughs> and then you pop it in there so you can see every little bit that you've got and I've even done it with my tennis skirts as well and ladies it really works I feel as though I should do it with my t-shirts but I share this wardrobe with Mr V and I haven't got enough drawer space well when I say share I don't mean share the clothes um <laughs> So when we've had the house remodeled and I've got better wardrobes, then maybe I'll Marie Kondo my t-shirts. But this is the direction that you're going in with your organizing. <sighs> it's quite intimate showing people your wardrobe, you know. This is where we keep coats. Boring. And this is where I keep the sweaters. So they probably don't cause me too much of a problem. They'll probably stay there summer and winter. But it's that workable wardrobe. It's your workable everyday wardrobe that you actually need to organise and make sure that you've got in different step sections. Hopefully that's helpful. I hope you've enjoyed the process so far. Um, please comment on our page let us know how you're getting on um, if you want to send us videos or pictures that would be absolutely amazing because during this lockdown connection is going to be so important and um, what has been lovely is the amount of new people that seem to be viewing our page and getting to know us um, and really getting to know us because not many people have had a look at my wardrobe um, but there's lots more little snippets that we can send out to you and to keep in touch and to look forward to meeting you all again when we open. I haven't done shoes and bags, that's next. 
but I really hope that you've enjoyed the process so far and that you've done it. So do let us know how you've got on. Thanks very much. Bye.